Experience better change management of BIM models and faster drawing creation with improvements to elevation benchmarks. In Vectorworks 2023, there is a new elevation benchmark tool that functions not only as an annotation object, but can also control story heights directly from the design space. Like smart markers, the new elevation benchmark tool is a styled object with an editable graphic context, so you have complete control over the look of the marker, the font, and the line type. Being a styled object also means that it's available as a resource in the resource manager and can be easily shared across multiple files and projects. There are also multiple default styles available, so you can use the style that works for you or customize it to make it your own. The new Elevation Benchmark is not only an annotation tool, but can also function as a design tool. It can be placed in design layers to be used as a visual aid when modeling. Elevation benchmarks can be placed on different design layers and reference the layer's height above the ground plane, or if your file has stories, they can reference stories or individual story levels. Once in the document, they can also be used to change story heights. Just like when editing stories, when a story height is changed, you can choose to move just that story or that story along with all the stories above or below it. With the new Elevation Benchmark, you have lots of options for what information to display and how to display it. The Reference Elevation field allows you to set your project at a certain height, separate from the project's datum. With a Reference Elevation, you can, for example, display benchmarks with both a value relative to the project datum and to its height above sea level. You can also display a benchmark value with units separate from your document units, or even show multiple units in the same Elevation Benchmark. Automatically generating benchmarks in your documentation is also possible with this new tool. You can set each story level to have its own elevation benchmark style before you create your stories. Additionally, you can use the new elevation benchmarks button in the object info palette of a section viewport or in the create section viewport dialog. This button allows you to choose which story levels will have elevation benchmarks and which styles will be used for each level. After you've chosen your elevation benchmarks, you can then set those choices as a default. The next section viewport you create will automatically have those defaults pre-populated. Once elevation benchmarks are in your section viewport, you can move them horizontally, stretch them, or add elbows. If placed in the annotation space manually, they can snap to geometry and report the actual elevation of that object. If you're using a 2D workflow, you can still take advantage of the new Elevation Benchmark, since you can set the Elevation Benchmark style to report a location on the 2D Y axis. You can also manually enter a custom height. Take advantage of customizable graphics, viewport automation, and smart features to make documenting your BIM model a breeze with the new Elevation Benchmark.